Welcome to Christie's Projector Lens Calculator. To get started, select a projector. There are a number of ways you can do this. You can either scroll through the list of current models, enter a part number or model name in the top search bar, or use the drop-down menus and search based on series, brightness, resolution, or illumination. When you have found the projector you want to work with, click Select. Or, if you want to learn more about that projector, click Specification. If you don't see the model you want to work with, toggle Show Discontinued Products to see a list of our discontinued models. You can also star your favorite projectors. This is useful if you'll be looking for projector and lens combinations for a number of different projectors. This way, you don't need to start a new search each time. Simply toggle Only Show Starred to quickly retrieve those projectors again. In this example, I'll choose the Boxer 4K30. Note that you can change your projector selection anytime by clicking on the Change button next to the model name. Or, if you need to start over with your selected projector, click Reset next to the Help button. In the first section, enter any known screen dimension, either the width, height, or diagonal of your desired image size. The other two dimensions will be calculated automatically based on the native resolution of the projector selected. You can either move the slider bars or enter the exact dimensions in the box provided. Note the option to change your preferred unit of measure. For example, millimeters, centimeters, meters, inches, or feet. The aspect ratio will default to the native aspect ratio of the projector selected. You can change the aspect ratio to see how this will change the selected image on the screen view. The projector orientation defaults to landscape. If you want to use your projector in portrait mode, select Portrait in the Orientation section. The projector lens calculator is designed to determine the unknown variable. By default, the calculator will provide a throw distance when screen dimensions are entered in a lens selected. Note that the calculator will provide you with an in-range lens or lenses until a lens is selected. If you already know the throw distance, the space you have available between the projector and the screen, then you can calculate the size of image that can be produced. When the screen dimensions are entered, the lens options will reorder and show in-range lenses first followed by the lenses that are out of range. Select a lens if you know the lens you need. When you click the Select button on any lens card, that lens card will move to the top of the column, after which a lens offset simulation will appear. You can click the Specification button to learn more about that lens as well. If you do not know the screen dimensions, after selecting your projector, Enter your desired throw distance, then toggle Calculate Screen Dimensions. When a throw distance is entered, the lens options will reorder to show you the lens or lenses that are in range of the entered throw distance. If you had previously selected a lens, the calculator may move a different in range lens to the top of the section. After selecting a lens, the offset simulation is updated. You can adjust the vertical offset and horizontal offset manually by moving the slider bar for either offset. The offset range is limited by the lens selected. Only one offset can be adjusted at a time. Note, if you need to install the projector in a vertically and horizontally compromised position, you will need to contact Christy directly to calculate this more complex calculation. After determining the right projector and lens combination for your project, you can request a quote for these items using the Get a Quote button in the top right of the screen. If you would like to export or share a summary of your projector and lens combination, click the Summary of Results button 